And good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Wayne County Now News Podcast for Tuesday evening, April 30th, 2024. I'm Dustin Fuller reporting. A reminder, you can view these other stories by visiting our website at mywaynecountynow.com. Just before our morning news podcast this morning, gas prices throughout much of the Fairfield area and throughout Wayne County were around 348 a gallon. On the way to the jail and court beat this morning, Wayne County now can confirm that gas jumped 39 cents. At 7.30, the Hawks at first in Maine was selling fuel at 387 a gallon. That matches the high for the year at that location. Casey's had also raised their price to 389 per gallon. According to Gas Buddy, the statewide average is 394 a gallon, with the lowest price reported around 318 per gallon in the state. Wayne County Sheriff's officials issued a citation to a Fairfield woman following a traffic stop in the area of Northwest 7th and Summer Streets. On Monday, 37-year-old Amanda M. Scott was cited for operating a vehicle with a suspended license. She's scheduled to appear in court on May 16th. With Friday being the first Friday of the month, the City of Fairfield has announced their large item pickup day for May will take place Friday, May the 3rd. The pickup will take place in the early hours of the morning on Friday. With that in mind, officials recommend having items placed curbside Thursday evening for early Friday pickup. According to city officials, allowed items include a large piece of furniture. Smaller furniture items need to be no larger than 4x4 in a pile. They also only accept two major types of appliances. And boxes must be broken down and put with normal trash. We have the list of what's accepted and what's not accepted with this story at MyWayneCountyNow.com. The 2024 Wayne City Market in the Park schedule has been announced. The market in the park says that they are going to meet on the 2nd and 4th Fridays in June and July. On June 14th, Handsome Howie will be the guest music-wise with Jan and Dean's Corn Dog Stand and Billy Bob's Barbecue serving food. On June 28th, Rock and Roll Banker and Jake Boger will be the entertainment. Food will be for sale from Taylor Made Food Company and Saber Latino. On July 12th, Hayden Brown will provide entertainment. The Green Pig will be serving food that evening. The entertainment for July 26th is to be announced, but food will be served by Monsters in Law. This is the W. Wow. Sorry about that. The Wayne County Now News Podcast. We'll have more in just a moment on MyWayneCountyNow.com. When you need concrete or masonry work, New Gen Concrete is your go-to in Wayne County and the surrounding area. They can help you finish that concrete project with anything from flat work, stairs and stem walls, to decorative stamping and masonry resurfacing. New Gen Concrete, set in stone on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Call 618-516-5002 or email them at newgenconcretellc at yahoo.com to get on the schedule today. And welcome back to my Wayne County Now News Podcast. It's time now for a check sports or check of weather. Make that. We'll check sports later on. Right now, looking at the weather today, it's been a sunny day. We reached 79 on the thermometer. Tonight, we're going to expect increasing clouds, a low of 59. Mostly sunny for your Wednesday, high of 82. Wednesday evening, partly cloudy, the low 62. And our next chance to shower thunderstorms comes Thursday with a chance at 20% and a high of 86. That is the weather forecast. Looking at the river stages, we're starting to get at flood stage at Clay City on the Little Wabash, Golden Gate, and Carmi. Just fine on the gauge currently. And Skillet Fork is starting to drop down as well. We'll look at obituaries after this. This is Wayne County Now. Whatever your project might be, Gibbs Excavating and Land Management, LLC, has the right tool and the expertise to get the job done right. The crew at Gibbs Excavating and Land Management can handle any job from stump grinding or forestry mulching, driveway repair, concrete demo and rock work to dirt and auger work, trenching, and even garden tilling. Call 618-516-1462 or email Austin at austingibbs70 at yahoo.com to schedule your free estimate today. Time now for a look at obituaries at... Wayne County Now, a reminder you can view the obituaries anytime by going to mywaynecountynow.com. 
82-year-old Georgia Ann Phillips passed away April 18th at the Springs Nursing Home at St. Andrews Village in Aurora, Colorado. She was born July 14th of 1991 to Frank and Virginia Lindsay Gill. Anne was a devoted follower of Jesus, making it her life's mission to tell others about Jesus. Along with her first husband, George, they spent 20 years in ministry serving in churches across the southern U.S. After George's passing, Anne spent the next 38 years being a faithful member of the Flora First Church of God. There you can find her serving as a pianist, teacher, council member, prayer warrior, and assisting with Meals on Wheels. Anne was an only child and was preceded in death by her parents, Frank and Virginia, first husband George and second husband Bernie. Anne is survived by her children, Gary and wife Paula, Ginger and husband Al, and Greg and wife Anita. Seven grandchildren, five in-law grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren also survive. Visitation will be on Thursday from 1 until 2 p.m. at the Hostel to Meredith Funeral Home in Sisney. With the funeral at 2 p.m. Thursday at Hostel to Meredith Funeral Home in Sisney. Burial will follow in Johnsonville Cemetery. A luncheon will be held at the Church of God in Flora immediately following burial. Hostel to Meredith Funeral Home in Sisney is assisting the family with arrangements. Memorial donations may be given to the Flora First Church of God in lieu of flowers. Marilyn Sue Nail, 81 of Albion, passed away April 28th at Wabash General Hospital in Mount Carmel. Marilyn Sue Nail owned Nail's Funeral Home. She was born July 2nd of 1942 in Ellery, Illinois, to Bill and Bernice Abbey and married Kent Nail on July 20th of 1964. She attended x-ray school at St. Mary's Hospital in Evansville and was employed as an x-ray technician at Weber Medical Clinic in Olney for a number of years before she accepted a position at Sabre Oil and Construction Company. Sue enjoyed working alongside Nadine Wolf for nine years. She then transitioned to entrepreneurship in 1984 when she purchased her father's concrete plant. Sue operated ms and B Ready Mix with her son Brad for nearly 20 years. Sue's creativity knew no bounds, and she took delight in all types of crafts. Many family members and friends treasure the hand-quilted products that she gifted them. She took great pleasure in constructing countless clever Halloween costumes and also contributing fun parade entries to county parades. Sue leaves behind her husband of 59 years, Kent, and her son, Brad, and his wife, Tammy of Albion. Her beloved granddaughters, Tara, and husband Jordan Fuchs, and Tori, and husband Derek Deese of Louisville, Kentucky. Three great-grandchildren, Cammie, Blair, and Ryan Fuchs, and one great-grandson, Deese, that was on the way. She was also survived by several nieces and nephews that were special to her. She was preceded in death by her parents and her siblings, Bonnie Bevins, Kenny, Abby, and Kathy Cheney. A visitation will be held from 5 until 7 tomorrow evening at the Nails Funeral Home in Albion. With the funeral service at 10 a.m. Thursday at Nails Funeral Home, burial will be in Graceland Cemetery in Albion. Memorials may be made to the Edwards County Senior Citizen Center and will be accepted at Nails Funeral Home. Nails Funeral Home of Albion assisting the family with arrangements. 86-year-old Virginia Johnson of Fairfield passed away at 8.03 a.m. on Friday at Fairfield Memorial Hospital. She was born May 8th of 1937 in Boylston to Lewis and Ruth McCullough Laird. She worked at Joliet Army Ammunition Plant for many years and retired after 25 years with Rockwell International in Centralia. Virginia was an active member of the Royal Neighbors. She will be missed by many. Virginia is survived by her daughters Donna and husband Dale Millenbein of Mill Shoals and Musetta Elaine and wife or and husband make that husband Eddie McKinney of Fairfield. Daughter-in-law, Ina Johnson of Cloverdale, Indiana. Ten grandchildren, 24 great-grandchildren, 12 great-great-grandchildren, and five sisters. Shirley Lowry of Fairfield. Donna Faye Mays of Patoka, Indiana. Linda Legg of Fairfield. Nina Bailey of Fairfield. And Pamela Mays of Fairfield. Four brothers, Raymond and wife Phyllis Laird of Fairfield. Don and wife Lisa Laird of Paoli, Indiana. Dale and wife Diane Laird of Manuka, Illinois, and Kenneth and wife Vicki Laird of Centralia. 
Numerous nieces, nephews, and church family also survive. She was preceded in death by her parents, husband Guy L. Jo or Guy L. Johnson, son Jimmy Guy Johnson, and sisters Dolores Pittman and Patsy Vaughn. Funeral services for Virginia Johnson will be held at 12 noon Saturday at Johnson Devon Funeral Home. Burial will be in Maple Hill Cemetery. Visitation will be from 10 a.m. until service time at Johnson Devon Funeral Home in Fairfield. Memorials may be made to Mount Zion Campground and will be accepted at the Johnson Devon Funeral Home. We'll take a look at community calendar information and sports next. This is Wayne County Now. Dive into summer with the latest styles at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. From top to bottom, Carnaby Square has everything you need to embrace the season in style with brands like Charlie B, Multiples, Jess and Jane, Lucky Bird, and Tribal in sizes from small to extra, extra large. Plus, Carnaby Square carries the largest selection of Brighton purses, jewelry, and accessories around. Carnaby Square, the fashion leader in Southern Illinois, located at 115 East Main Street in Fairfield, making you look great since 1980. Time now for a look at sports. Tonight, the Fairfield Lady Mule softball team takes on Carmine White County. It's a 5-30 first pitch. You can catch that. That's actually going on right now. You can catch that on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing, on the Mule Nation YouTube channel. Other action on the docket tonight for the area for baseball and softball. The MTC tournament gets underway tonight, weather permitting. Cardinals were rained out yesterday. They will try again today. They take on Detroit. You can catch that game on Bally Sports Midwest or locally on radio on 105.9 FM WOKZ. That's been a look at news, weather, and sports. Looking at the community calendar real quick. Tomorrow at the Wayne County Senior Citizen Center, it is Cake Day. That's presented by FNB Community Bank. So celebrating May birthdays tomorrow at the Senior Center. Be a good time for that. Also, pool tournament gets underway beginning at 8.30 tomorrow at the Wayne County Senior Center. Have a community calendar note. Send it to us by emailing them to news at mywaynecountynow.com or you can go to the community calendar submission form on mywaynecountynow.com. And that is a look at the My Wayne County Now news podcast for Tuesday evening, April 30th. Until tomorrow, I'm Dustin Fuller saying thank you for joining us and so long.